Girls, let's get rolling. You're gonna be late for school. Coming. Sorry, Dad. I was on the phone. And I wasn't listening. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I'm gonna be a little late coming home today. I'll be working on a school project. No, you're not. <laughs> Actually, I'll be studying at the library. No, you're not. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll be going out for pizza with a friend. And a girl. <laughs> All this for 50 cents a week. <laughs> Does your uh, friend have a name, or should I ask Cece? He must be younger than me because she just calls him baby. His name is Jared King, and he asked me out, okay? Jared King? As in Cleon King's son? I don't know. His dad's some kind of record producer. <laughs> some kind of record producer? This guy's a legend. He put the heavy in the D. He put the T in the LC. Hootie didn't even know what a blowfish was until this guy came along. <laughs> This is my big break, Zarya. Thank you. I always knew you'd be good for something someday. <laughs> Dad, can't we move and not tell him? <sighs> Aren't you forgetting something? Yeah, me. Oh, sorry, Cece. Come on, we'll drop you off at preschool. One day I'll forget to drop you off. <laughs> Son, if only it were that easy. <laughs> What's her name? Monica. So you really like her, huh? Yeah, every time I see her, my stomach sounds like a slurping machine. I know what you're saying. The first time I laid eyes on your mother, I doubled over in pain. Why? Because the girl I was with punched me in the gut. <laughs> Does Monica like you? I try to talk to her, she runs away. Then what do you do? I chase her. Then what happens when you catch her? I don't know. She's faster than me. Well, it seems to me the first step in this relationship is we've got to stop her from running away from you. How do I do that? Well, find something interesting that you both can talk about. Well, it gets more complicated when you hit puberty. <clears throat> Why would I hit puberty? I don't even know who she is. Come on, son, let's hurry to school. You can't afford to miss any days. With you around, we don't even need a calculator. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Nicholas, what's wrong with your stomach? Uh, that wasn't me, that was you. <laughs> it was? Excuse me. <laughs> I bet I can spit further than you can. Not right now. I'm going to talk to Monica. <laughs> she just runs away from you. Not today, because I'm going to say something interesting. Watch the magic. <laughs> hey, Monica, want to see my scab? <laughs> it looks like a fruit loop. <laughs> no way. <laughs> See that scab. <laughs> oh. Hi, sweetie. 
sweetheart. Hey, honey. Mm. How was class? Oh, uh, I have so much to read. I think I'll sue my law school for ruining my eyesight. <laughs> Got your groceries? Thanks, Wendell. Did you stick to the list? Did I stick to the list? <laughs> Did you get the light mayonnaise I like? Did I get the light? <laughs> what are we gonna do with all that mayonnaise? Now I gotta shop and plan the meals? <laughs> Just put on that crate of tuna I bought you. Who needs a crate of tuna? Someone with a ton of light mayonnaise. Where did you get all this stuff? I went to one of those warehouse places, the big club. Everything there is jumbo size. I love it, because it made me feel small. <laughs> anyway, I saved you a bunch of money. You can write me a check. This is five times what it cost at the supermarket. But you only have to shop once a year. <laughs> Help me unload the truck, man. Wendell, you don't have a truck. I had to rent one. <laughs> Remember when you lift the tater tots, lift with your leg. <laughs> Don't lift with your back. Do I need to say I told you so? No, I, I think the giant mayonnaise says it all. <laughs> Thanks for the pizza, Jared. Hey, it was cool just watching you eat. <laughs> kind of like the way you chew, too. Want to come in? Uh, Michael, can we help you? Oh, I'm really sorry, guys. I didn't see you there. Actually, yes, you could help me. Um, I seem to misplace this tape of this new song I was writing. Ugh! Second hit I lost today. Well, we haven't seen it. Well, listen, if you come across this song that has a complexity of modern jazz, yet it's funky enough to keep your head bobbing, that would be it. See ya. <laughs> Wanna sit down? Yeah. <laughs> listen, sorry. If you're not busy Saturday, I was... Stop looking! Stop looking! <laughs> I think I found it. Okay. The minute you'll be bobbing your head right along. <laughs> See, there you go, there you go. Shaking, bobbing, it's real, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Come here, come here. What? If you don't leave us alone, I'm gonna tell Jared that you still have a Mr. T hand puppet. <laughs> That's a collectible. The gold alone is worth 400 bucks. <laughs> but I, I get your point. Jared! Jer! Ja. <laughs> Yo, man, we have to jam. We'll get together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, Mike. All right. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, brothers. You can't live with them, and you can't pawn them. <laughs> You're funny. Really? And smart. And beautiful. Sorry, this is PG-13. <laughs> And that's how the dinosaur became a stink. <laughs> Phil, I think you mean extinct. No, I mean stink. <laughs> Have you ever smoked a dead dinosaur? <laughs> all right, class, that's all the time we have for the world according to Phil. See you all tomorrow. Hey, Nicholas, you want to run down the hallway in our socks? They just waxed it. <laughs> nah, I got some unfinished business. Monica is three o'clock! <laughs> okay, you got me. That what you gonna do. <laughs> Nicholas, come over here. Should have slid down the hallway. <laughs> hey, honey. Hey, baby. <laughs> 
Looks like you're working hard. Mm, you know it. How about a cup of coffee? Oh, that'd be great. full security check on him. <laughs> I see where Zari gets her sense of humor. No, we're not kidding. <laughs> Get against the counter and spread them. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. Oh, sorry, didn't you pick up Nicholas? His teacher said he had to stay after school. She said she's gonna bring him home. Oh. He was probably showing off that scab again. <laughs> it's amazing how much it looks like a Fruit Loop. I'm just gonna take some chips and go into the living room. You got any dip? Uh, it's in a barrel blocking the driveway. Skip the dip. <laughs> Zari, look what my dad gave us. Oh my God, boys to men. <laughs> Just one of the advantages of being me. <laughs> oh, God, this is so cool. How close are we? Close enough to tell if they're boys or men. Oh, my God. Again, I am really sorry. I did not know you guys were here. <laughs> but hey, you know, just writing them songs, the hits keep coming. Before you know it, I'll be on MTV. Unplugged. Look, Amadeus. Oh, hey. <laughs> Why don't you give me a tape, and I'll slide one to my old man. Are you serious? Wow, that is so unexpected. Luckily, I just happen to have one right here, so you can give this to your dad. Also, what I did was I uh, got a little business card, and you can keep in touch. Also, what I did is I put together a little publicity pack, so I did and everything. <laughs> oh, and the last thing, I put together a little rockumentary. It's sort of like covering the early years. Michael, get out of here. Please, please, right. we don't want you here. Can I get please, my pick? Get I'll your pick my and leave. All right, okay. Now leave. All right, all right. Your pick. I got my pick. Out. Okay, leave. all right. Leave. Hey. It's fine. Hey. Sorry about Michael. You might think he's a little obnoxious, but once you get to know him, you'll be absolutely sure. <laughs> There's no problem. I get this all the time. I just put this stuff in the Desperate Loser file. <laughs> Desperate Loser? You know, it's funny how in a family, one kid can be so cool, while the other one is just a complete, I, I don't know. Jerk. Exactly. No. I mean, you, that's my brother you're talking about. Hey, you're the one that's always bagging on him. I'm his sister, that's my job. I'm just telling him like it is. No, I'm telling you, Michael is a generous, sensitive, artistic genius. Look, if he's all that, maybe you need to be spending your time with your brother. Maybe I should. <laughs> You're lost, babe. I'll be taking someone else to the concert. Yeah, and I hope you and your mama have a really good time. Did I just hear an angry door slam? Here's your tape. Why isn't this on its way to Jared's dad? Because I just broke up with Jared. That was my big break, and you ruined it, Zaria. Why did you do that? Because you're an obnoxious, self-centered, egotistical jerk, and I love you. And she wonders why she can't keep a guy. Oh, Robert, you forgot the sugar. Oh, right, right. <laughs> One shovel or two. Oh, hi. <laughs> 
Miss Hicks. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Peterson. Uh, is Nicholas in some kind of trouble? Well, more like pre-trouble. So should we be pre-upset? <laughs> I'm sure we can wait this out. <laughs> Miss Hicks, uh, please sit down. Would you like a cup of coffee? No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Today, during recess, Nicholas kissed a little girl, Monica Johnson. Oh, the one he has the crush on. Uh, so, so what's the problem? The problem is she didn't want to be kissed. I didn't know until after I kissed her. Miss Hicks, you know Nicholas would never do anything to hurt another child. He's the sweetest kid in the world. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Don't push it, son. Miss Hicks, there are a couple of eight-year-olds. I mean, it all seems pretty innocent. Well, I'm afraid it's more serious than you think. Nicholas, why don't you go upstairs? We'll be up in a minute. She just slid in the hallway. <laughs> when Monica complained about the kiss, according to the new school guidelines, I have to inform you that if it happens again, it could be viewed as an incident of sexual harassment. What, sexual harassment? Isn't that a little extreme? I mean, well, hold on a minute. No one's labeling my son a sexual harasser. Mr. Peterson, nobody's labeling anybody. We just want to teach the kids to respect each other at a young age, so it's not a problem later on. So something like this won't keep them off the Supreme Court? Apparently nothing keeps you off the Supreme Court. <laughs> Look, I assure you, this will not be on Nicholas's record. It's just between us. Well, thank you, uh, Miss Hicks. We'll, we'll talk to Nicholas, but I, I think they're blowing this whole thing way out of proportion. That seems to happen a lot around here. <laughs> Is it me, or has the whole world gone crazy? I don't know. You should see some of the cases I'm studying. Schools are being sued because children are playing kissing games, sending notes, pulling ponytails. It's like you need a lawyer just to be a kid these days. A lawyer? And a good one. Hey, Monica, want to play? OK. Objection. I object to that objection. <laughs> That's argumentative. It is not. It is too. Can we just play? It is not. It is too. It is not. It is too. It is too. It is too. It is too. Jerry, kids can't be kids anymore. When I was little, I used to chase and kiss girls all the time. And I used to get chased all the time. But you know, now that I think back on it, I, I got to tell you, I didn't like it. Why didn't you do something? I didn't think anybody would listen. The attitude was boys would be boys, so I just thought I had to live with it. Well, that's not right either. No, it isn't. Robert, you know, I agree this thing has gone a little overboard, but we need to remind Nicholas to respect other people's personal space. You're right. Let's go talk to him. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jerry, uh, last night when I was chasing you, did you hate that? I let you catch me, didn't I? <laughs> Nicholas, are you going somewhere? Someplace for no women. So you're going to Wendell's house? Robert. Nicholas, you know it isn't Monica's fault you got into trouble. I didn't know I was doing anything wrong. You and Dad kiss all the time. Son, kissing is great as long as both people want to do it. But if someone doesn't want to be kissed, you have to respect that. Does that mean I don't have to kiss Aunt Maisie? <laughs> you don't like kissing Aunt Maisie? Her mustache is real itchy. <laughs> Unless you're right. If it bothers you, you don't have to kiss her. Unless, of course, you don't want the five dollars she gives you at Christmas time. It doesn't is that much. Nicholas, you know, it would be really nice if you apologized to Monica tomorrow. She probably hates me by now. I'm sure she doesn't hate you. She just didn't like what you did. So apologize. Are we cool? We're oh, cool. Mom, Dad. Can I kiss you? Baby, with us, you never have to ask for permission. That's right. Get some kisses. You really have to apologize? I told my mom and dad I would. Come on, help me out. 
Nah, I'm just gonna watch the magic. <laughs> Monica, I'm sorry about what I did yesterday, and I won't do it anymore. Why? I kinda like when you chase me. You do? Yeah, but the kiss was gross. I didn't like that either. So why'd you do it? Uh, Bill made me do it. <laughs> Ooh, it's about time. Now we can start on that mayonnaise. Yes. <laughs> Y'all guys got some mustard? After 40 years, we just ran out. Yes. No problem. I'll go get you another job. Wait, 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 wait. Get 